It is hot today. It's hot, but at least this isn't a hot hoarder house. It's actually in decent condition. It's just old, though. No, it's not a big deal, though. Remember, it's a 3-2. They're asking 450, and the comps are 575. All right. Oh, my gosh. There's air conditioning on. Oh. This house actually has air conditioning. Oh, my gosh. There's air conditioning, and it's clean. Very rarely seen clean carpet in a flip of this age. It's like, reminds me of, oh, yeah. It really reminds oh, yeah. me of Grandma's house. Oh, look at that oven. Oh, yeah. Super. How cool is what that? What the heck? This it's... is like being in a time machine right now. What year do you think this is? This is this is 50s for sure. Look how clean it is. Right off the bat, though, like, we would have to open up this wall, so we'd have to find out if it's load bearing or not. Yeah. The kitchen, it's in good shape, but we have to get the entire thing, so we're probably looking at 10 grand here. It's very small, but at least there's like this area over here that we could work with. Yeah, so we can open up this side over here, and then we have laundry back here. So this is the bedroom when we first walked in. Okay. And the house weird. has two bathrooms, and here's one of the bathrooms. Oh, look at that blue toilet. Blue toilet, blue sink. Look at that tiny little shower. People, things were so much smaller back in the day. People were smaller. So maybe this is considered the main bedroom since the bathroom's right there? This is a small bedroom. Uh, it's a small house, not quite 1,300 square feet, and the layout is funky. Okay, so... The bedroom has two entrances. One from the laundry kitchen area and the other right by the front door. This is a big room. The double closets, but this doesn't have its own bathroom. Is there a way to add another bathroom? Adding a bathroom would be great, but we're dealing with a profit issue. Some nice doors right here. Maybe French doors. Look at these pretty trees. It's a big, nice yard. The air conditioning is a little loud, but. The house, it does have potential. Let's just see what Jeff says, but unless the seller takes a lot less than 450, I just don't see how we can make this work. This oven is awesome. Nice house. I know, it's awesome. All right, so I think you guys are looking at 82. Does that include opening up the wall between the kitchen and dining area? No, not if it's structural. If it's not structural, dude, I'll open it for you. How long do you think the project's gonna take? Six to nine weeks. Perfect. What's the profit? Do the numbers. The only way to get a profit is under 400,000. They're asking 450. I'll write an offer at 380. If we can get this house under 400, we'll buy this house. But if we can't, you're gonna go look at the hoarder house. Fine. Knuckles on it. All right. Good news, we got the house for 395,000, which means we're not gonna buy the hoarder house and Christina is gonna be happy. And turning this house fast is gonna make me happy, so it's time to get started. Oh. Hey. Oh, not Ooh. the vintage stove. Someone's gonna want this thing. I think we yeah, should let's sell. Let's put this off to the side. How's this cute little house looking? Jeffrey. What's up, dude? Where you at? In here. So can we remove the kitchen wall? You actually have a beam that runs right here to the end of the wall, but just to this. Oh, no. Oh, so it is load bearing. From here over to there is. If you want to take the post out, still got to run beams, everything. You're looking at seven grand. All right, how much is it for the post? This is going to be the same, man. We're All just right. putting in a post, it's okay. cheap. So we can run the kitchen peninsula from this point, diet right into the end, into the post. I have an idea if we can do it. So we get rid of the closet, check this out. So now we push this wall back about a foot and a half. What we could do is take the laundry, instead of putting it here, we can put it in the hall closet on the other side of the house, right? Yeah. We can reconfigure a new bathroom and a new closet in this area. Well, that sounds expensive. We still have to tile in here anyway, so that's not an additional cost. If we build a new bathroom on the other side of the house, we have to tile two bathrooms. We have to do plumbing in two bathrooms. We're reconfiguring an existing. How much would that cost? Probably about three grand. For an extra seven, we can have the nicer bedroom. What are you talking about, Nicer? We spent 3,000, we're gonna have- We have a street view. Would you rather have this view or the other view? I, I like this view. It's $7,000 cheaper. Uh, fine. Done. Wow, it's all open up. It is open. You know, I know we had to keep the stupid post up, but does it really bother you? You know what? No, it looks so much better. It's not that bad. It looks nice. Wow, look at this house. What's up, Jeffrey? What's going on, you guys? 
Okay, so first things first, I'm thinking yellow paint with no, uh, no, charcoal no. trim. Oh my God. Huh? We can't paint the house yellow. Yeah, we can. It's vintage modern. It's gonna look like a canary, like a fast food restaurant. There's people around the US that are just offended right now by your anti-yellow. I'm not anti-yellow. It's just um, not really for this house. I don't feel like it's a yellow want to, house. Want me to keep it real with you? Sure. I was just messing with you anyways. I knew you. I, just, I knew she was messing with me. I knew it. OK, how about white body, charcoal trim, blue front door? I think that would look really cool. It'd be nice to do the garage at charcoal, too. That would look nice. OK. That works. Boom. Um, hi. What do you think? Um, it's definitely bold. I it's mean, I very, like it. It's bold, very, though. Very, 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 very bold. I mean, I think it looks really cool. Just right when I walk in, this wall just jumps right out at you. Now that I'm in here, I feel like we stop where we are. I think it could get a little crazy. Okay, well, I actually agree. If we do that wall, it's going to get super dizzy. Okay. Um, but the tile looks great. Well, the tile looks, everything looks beautiful in here. Cool. Well, we're getting close. All right. Good work. So the Norwalk house is pretty much done. We got to figure out a list price. What are the comps? There is a comp that is pending, similar to ours size-wise, but it's not as nice at 579 dollars Okay. There are houses not as nice as ours that are larger, pending between 620 and 650 Okay. Uh, we paid three ninety-five dollars for the house. Our original budget was $82,000. In the end, after change orders, we spent around $87,000. Wow, we actually like almost stuck to our budget. <laughs> almost. And then after closing costs and commission, our break even is going to be about 516. Okay. okay. I mean, that house came out super cute, right? Really cute, yeah. I mean, it's, I feel like we can push the envelope maybe like 629.9. I was thinking like 599.9. Okay, so if we list at 599.9, for sure it's going to sell, and I do think we'll get multiple offers. All right, well, I love a bidding war. First impression that buyers are gonna see is just like this cute little retro house, right? Yeah, it came out cute, huh? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Christina's tied up today and she can't be here for the walkthrough, but luckily for me, I get to do it with Taylor. Wait, why is the door pop and blue? Uh, you, you just said it, a pop of blue because it stands out and we wanted to bring some character to the house. Wait till, okay. you, see, wait till you see the inside. Wait, okay. right, hold on, hold on. What do you think? Come on. So pretty. So the design theme here that me and your mommy came up with was like 1950s retro. This looks more more modern. Yeah, it is cool. That's it's a mid-century modern. Okay, you want to see the kids' room or the parents' room? The parents' room. All right, all right. What's on the left? Wow, it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you what we did in here. So to make the bedroom bigger, we got rid of the closet. We built this closet where the bathroom was. And you see this huge shower? This, <sighs> this used to be the laundry room connected to the kitchen. If these were the rooms, this would be Brayden's bedroom. Bray's bedroom, huh? All right, wait, 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 let's go to the bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> So it's, this is the bathroom that the kids share. That's a pretty nice bathtub. It is nice, huh? Hey, you know, did we do a good job in here? Yeah. Came out real pretty. I huh? want to see what my room would look like. Oh, yeah, this room feels a little bigger. It has two closets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So what do you think? You think your daddy's gonna sell this house for $599,900? I feel like that's a little low. You feel like it's low? Yeah. I hope the buyers feel like it's low. All right, let's hit it. You ready?
While I was hesitant to buy this house because of the slim profit margin, it turned out to be a quick and easy flip. Christina was right to buy this house. And by pricing it low, we created a bidding war. We ended up receiving 19 offers and we sold this house for 650,000.